Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I may be having an identity crisis. Actually, I wouldn't even call it that. I would call it like a discovering my identity crisis. My eyes are watering. I swear I'm not crying. It's not that bad. Like it's not a full blown mental breakdown. I'm here at my laser hair removal appointment. Um, I'm early, so I thought I would check in, tell you guys what's going on. Basically, I think I'm goth. <laughs> not really. I've been listening to a lot of Nirvana recently. I've been wearing a lot of black and it's kind of scaring me. <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like myself, you know? Deep down in my heart, I think I've always been a little bit emo, a little bit goth. And I live in a town where everyone wears the same outfits. Like everybody just cycles the same 10 outfit. Like going to school and stuff, I was never comfortable wearing exactly what I wanted to wear, which is dumb. I should have just done what I wanted to do. But my little high school brain was very insecure and I used to pick out outfits before school and be like, all right, this one's a little bold, but I'm gonna do it. And then I would put it on in the morning and be like, nope, I can't do it. And then just put on my pair of skinny jeans and whatever little trendy top was in. But I'm done with that. That is over. I am not conforming anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, that's basically just what's been going through my mind. I really like it and I think I'm going to embrace it now. Basically, we're just gonna do like a transformation today. I think now I have my own like personal sense of style that's probably not for everybody but I think we're gonna explore that a little bit today, pick out some outfits because I just got some new clothes to kind of go with my, my new look but I have to go get laser hair removal. So I'll see you after that. Ugh. God, that hurts so bad. <laughs> This is like my seventh or eighth appointment and every time I'm shocked by how much it hurts. Honestly, I don't know where this video is going to take us, but we will see. So let's go home. First things first, I want to pick out outfits. So basically I bought an entire new wardrobe to fit this new me and I am obsessed with mini skirts, like obsessed. Let's see, one, two, three, four, Look at that, it has little ties on it. So cute. Five, six, seven. That is so wrinkly, oh my God. Can you iron leather? Eight, also wrinkly, but whatever. Let's try to style these skirts first. Yep, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. We have this plaid skirt, a little sweater, and a leather blazer. Wow. Also these Doc Martens because you can't have an emo stage without buying Doc Martens. If this was high school and you told me to wear this, I would be like, that is so cute, but I will never wear that in public. Now I'm just so excited to not care what people think. This is so much fun. So cute. Okay, next outfit. Another leather blazer moment, but this is with these like slacks. I don't even know what you call these. And then this little tank top that has this little tie thing in the middle. Leather blazer and these chunky leather boots. Like I would never wear an all black outfit before, but really feeling this one. So, okay, yes, this outfit is all black, but this is not goth. This is like sophisticated goth. That's what I'm gonna call my new style, sophisticated goth. Okay, this one I already kind of wore on Instagram with like a black puffy jacket but I love this. It is this little collar under a black sweater, black skirt, tights, which I am obsessed with right now, and my docs. This definitely reminds me of Wednesday Adams, but in the best way possible. Once again, very, very sophisticated goth. I feel like if I was a cartoon character and had to wear the same outfit every day, I would wear this outfit. Okay, on to the next. Okay, this is a lot. This might be too much. I think this is too much. This looks like a costume, kinda. Like we got the corset, the leather skirt. I feel like that's just a lot, a lot to process. With the tights and the docks. I mean, this is very cute. 
but I think I'm, I might be a little too self-conscious to go into public like this. But I love the corset and I love the skirt. So let's try to style them separately. Okay, this is much better. I just put jeans on with it. I feel like it needs something else, hold on. There we go. Very nice. Okay, corset, leather jacket, jeans, and these chunky boots again. This is much better. I feel like it's already pretty bold to wear a corset in public, so I think downplaying it with the jeans was a good decision. Now let's try to do the leather skirt. Okay, again, this is better, more casual. It's a butterfly t-shirt, kind of baggy, with the skirt. I feel like I could like tie the shirt or something, tuck it in maybe, but this is a lot better. Very cute. I would feel much more comfortable wearing this. Wow, I am really impressed that I'm figuring this stuff out because these are some interesting pieces. I think that's pretty good. I think we got the style down. As far as hair goes, let's do something about that. Okay, let's see what we can do. Not that. Oh God. Oh my God. I get a haircut this week that is much needed. I have not cut my hair in a year. And last time I cut it, it was like up to here. Now it is much too long. What do I want to do? Let's start with the little, the little pigtail things. I feel like that goes with the look. Okay, so basically I just kind of section it off in a little square. Okay, that's probably good. Maybe I'll like pull a few pieces out of it. And then I tie back the rest of my hair so it doesn't get in the way when I'm tying the front section. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that one's done. I feel like it makes me look like an alien, but like in a good way, kinda. Cute. God, I just have too much hair. It would look better if I didn't have so much hair. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, maybe I'll try another one because that was fast. Maybe I should try like the little space bun things I've been seeing people do. Those are so cute. But again, I think I might have too much hair for that. They look like pom-poms on the side of my head. I guess we'll try it. We got nothing to lose. What? How am I going to do this? Should I do like half? Half up? Would that look dumb? Let's find out. We're not doing that. Okay, maybe let's try the like, the whole thing. This is like a workout. Maybe I don't even twist it. Maybe I just like fold it. Hey, that doesn't look bad. I mean, it's huge, but that's not as bad as I was expecting. <laughs> that one is so big. Let me try the, the twist method. Maybe that'll make it smaller. We're not doing this. Let's try some braids. Let's do that instead. I feel like that's always a safe option. I don't know. I'll do the other side. This is kind of giving me like pirate vibes. We switched from alien to pirate. I don't like it. I think I don't like the ones in the front. Maybe it'll look better if I just have the ones in the back. I don't really like it that much, but I think it's better than the ones in the front. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cute. It's growing on me. I like it. I think that's as much as I'm gonna do as far as hair. Maybe I'll try some more after I get a haircut when it's easier to deal with. Should I try some makeup? I'm really bad at it. I feel like I kind of just have to do a little bit something. So let's let's just see where this goes. Uh, I don't even want to show you. This is so bad. Before I show you, I'm just warning you. It's scary. It's not good. I don't even want to show you the reference picture because it's just not even, it's not even close. 
I, I look so scary. I thought it would match the look and it would if it was, if it looked good, it, it would, but it doesn't. The saddest part is that I was trying so hard to make this look good. This is me like trying my hardest. Other than this, uh, it, I was having a great time with this. Um, I just, I need to end this video right here and I need to take this off my face. Um, I hope you liked this video. I love you all so much and I will see you next time. God. <laughs>